Hello, everybody. I'm back again with another candy attack. Before I begin, however, I'm going to point something out. I forgot to put it in the description, but I'll add it in there. I am no longer going to do reviews on candies with palm oil as one of the ingredients. This is the last one. Willy Wallabies is a brand that uses palm oil, which is, is very bad for animals it, because it um, they plant the trees to get the palm oil and they take away homes and natural habitat of, of animals, orangutans, for example, and other animals. Um, I saw a video once when they were doing it, they were destroying habitat. And uh, this, this kind of, it was a male orangutan was trying to save his, oh, it was so sad. So he was, he you know, they people were coming in with big machines and knocking down the trees. And the orangutan was like trying to confront them, you know, to try to fight them. But he was trying to fight the machines. Of course, he would have killed the men. But the men were inside these big, you know, bulldozers and stuff and uh, you know he was like banging on the thing like trying to scare them away and you know i think he climbed up a tree and then that tree fell and he he ran away he didn't get killed but i just and i always remembered that scene and even though i continued to eat palm oil um you know it always i always remembered that scene and i finally decided i keep forgetting to check you know i i love candy i'm always grabbing candy so Willy Wallabies is a brand that uses palm oil. So it's delicious, I'll admit, and I've probably ignored that it had palm oil sometimes because I like it. I've never tried this one. We're going to do it today. But, you know, here I am doing it. But anyway, so I will be reviewing this today for the last time. And uh, Willy Wallabies, I'm not going to say don't buy it because it is delicious. You know, so I'm kind of like in the middle. Of course... I'm not out there in the jungle with the orangutans. I just saw on TV, you know, use your own, you know, I'm, I'm going to try to avoid only because here's the other good thing. I did find a licorice. This one, it's an old bag. It's empty. This licorice does not use palm oil. So if you're going to get licorice, black licorice, red licorice, they have other flavors. I didn't see that they had hot cinnamon. So uh, this brand, Daryl Lee is pretty good. I, you know, the taste, I like it. And uh, it tastes different than Willy Wallabies, but it's not that it's better or worse. It's a different flavor, but it's the basic, you know, licorice, chewy. This does not have palm oil. I better, I don't want to eat my words here. It has glucose syrup, wheat flour, sugar, molasses, treacle, water, wheat fiber, sunflower oil, colored with caramel color, licorice extract, anise seed oil, because it has to have some sort of oil. Uh, salt, diglycerides, carnauba wax, a lot of very natural ingredients too. And there's another licorice called Red Vines that's made in um, California that does not use palm oil either. It's not at all the texture that I like in licorice necessarily, but I like Red Vines. They make black licorice, but it is Red Vines brand black licorice. <laughs> so don't let that confuse you. But You'll find red vines at Target or, you know, some of the major stores in U.S. So red vines, if you're a licorice person, red vines or Daryl Lee, if you're into the Australian style licorice. These are the ones that are good for the, you know, doesn't harm animals and stuff. There's a company called. Because. These companies do partner with environmental environmental um organizations you know it's called pinky promise for some of the candies where they don't use uh, certain ingredients that harm the environment so i but they're using um doesn't mean that they're they're not harming the environment let me look at pinky swear or pinky promise or something like that pinky swear if a candy has pinky swear on it, it means something. I should know this before I come on. Yeah, this blab. I should look that up quick. Let me, we're going to do a review first, and then we're going to uh, look up what the pinky swear foundation or something. And companies that are connected with that foundation are using environmentally found ingredients, from what I thought I understood. But they may still be using animal products in the in the, you know like gelatin made from animal 
uh, products and things. So, all right. So we're going to start this one first. I'm, you know, I'm going to guess. We haven't opened it yet. I'm going to guess that this will taste like. Oh, let me check the sun, by the way. I'm distracted here. Testing, 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 testing. Oh, it is working now. Okay, good. Tell me if uh, it's too loud, too soft, too static. All right. Let me put that up just a notch. Let's try it. I am going to guess that this tastes like the hot tamales, hot cinnamon candies. The taste, not the texture. If you like crinkle. There's a, there's a little pin here. Just to get to okay. Willie Wallaby has an Instagram. It's at Wiley Wallaby, not Willie. Wiley Wallaby. I think a wallaby is like a kangaroo. And it's got like this heart, I think because of its Valentine's Day. It's got the kangaroo with, look at the heart uh, in his paws there. See the heart. And it's got heart, uh, you know, hearts around it. So I'm wondering if it was Valentine's past now. It was on the 4th, 14th. I wouldn't know. No one sent me. <laughs> I Actually, I got a messenger from a friend, a guy friend, who sent him happy Valentine's, but that's all. Okay, so here's the color, kind of a dark, deep reddish brown because it's got the cinnamon. This lighting is terrible, isn't it? I bought that one of those ring lamps, but it's not very. Uh, oh, let me see if I change that. No, I should do this before I start. Oh, there's my mother. One minute. Seeky. But um, she comes to my door every 10 minutes, every 15 minutes with something else that she's worried about. Me, me, it's that she needs something. She's like, where's your father? Oh, could you last the same things over and over every time, every day? She'll come with a C. I don't want to be like exposing too much, but her mind is going. Her mind is going. She's in her mid 80s. Everybody has something to deal with. So her thing is going to be mental, you know, whatever, aging. I don't know if it's Alzheimer's or sen senility or um, whatever you call it. Just natural when you get old, things happen. Anyway, so now she, my father's right there. and She's asking, where's your father? She's very needy on my father, too. So, all right, that's, that's life. All right, anyway, but sometimes I'm in the middle of a video. If you guys were watching my, of course, that was a long video when I made the um, macaroons that turned out, they turned into flat aroons. They were just flat. They tasted good, but <laughs> all right, let's try this. Mm. Hmm. They taste like you'd expect, hot, cin hot cinnamon, but... Cinnamon cherry. Mm. Hang on a second. I'm going to see. I don't change. I don't taste much cherry in there, but it's mainly, mainly cinnamon, but it's good. If you like cinnamon candy, you'll like them. And they're not as spicy as you'd expect. The Hot Tamales brand, uh, Hot Tamales is a kind of a candy we have here. I think I've done a review on those. Those are spicier. They hurt, you know, they hurt a little bit. These don't hurt. These are mild. They say hot, hot cinnamon. They're not. They're mild. If you're not used to spice, maybe you'll find them hot. But they're a little bit harder than the... They're a little bit harder. They're chewy, again, like licorice, like black licorice texture, but a little bit harder. I actually like the texture. 
of the regular licorice better. Mm, they're okay. Mm. For example, these are vegan. So that means the gelatin they use, they must have gelatin. Mm -hmm. Wheat and soy. So they're vegan, it says right here. But palm oil harms animals. So they're vegan, but they're not nice to animals. Unless there's a unless there's a palm oil now that, that they grow somewhere that doesn't harm animals and they're sourcing from there, but it harms animals in that it it takes away their their environment. And palm oil is in everything though. Apparently it's cheap and very useful. So so if you can avoid the palm oil. This one, it doesn't have gelatin. This is probably vegan too. You know, I don't see anything that's not vegan. It doesn't have any gelatin and it does not use palm oil. So I would suggest again, uh, you get Daryl Lee. I did, I'm not doing a review on these today, but I get a lot of licorice. So Daryl Lee is from Australia. And imported plant based. See, it's vegan. Licorice is probably vegan for the most part. One person, oh, I shouldn't go off on these tangents. They come for the review, they don't come for me blabbing. Okay, the next review we're going to do is Peeps Sour Watermelon. Uh, let me know any questions if you have any questions. Uh, let me. Uh, live chat. All messages are visible. And um, okay, one person watching, and you're not a subscriber, so I don't know who you are. Oh, I had five people before. I'm not. I'm not dissing. Thank you, one viewer, for being here. If there's one viewer, I have a show. I always say that. But I had five people. I told them please come back, but they didn't. All right. So now we're gonna do peace. There are five chicks in there. This sounds like the 50s, guys and chicks. Five chicks. Let's see the ingredients. Sugar, corn syrup, gelatin, fumaric acid, and malic acid, which give it the sour flavor. Um, there's gelatin, so we don't know what kind of gelatin. It may be, oh, but it's just born ink, which I believe, yeah, I have to look all that stuff up later. But anyway, just born ink. Okay, let's do it. They are green chicks. Oh, look at that, but they're pink in the inside because it's a watermelon. So green on the outside, but it's pink on the inside like a watermelon. Green rind and this pink. And I'm gonna bet that this sugar, I don't know how you can make watermelon sour, but I'm trying to taste the sour. Yeah, it's in the sugar coating. There's a little bit of sour, but yeah, it's got a little sour punch, but not, you know, not super sour. Is it supposed to be super sour? Just sour. Uh, I'm going to eat the whole thing. Mm-hmm. It tastes like fake watermelon candy. You know, any watermelon candy all tastes the same. It's got that flavor. A little kick, a little sour kick, but not. And the texture is like a marshmallow. So, you know. The candies I buy, I don't do it on purpose, but the kinds of candies that I like don't have fat. You know, I'm not into chocolate. I don't, I don't mind chocolate. People always say you love candy so much. How come you don't do chocolate? I think I've done a couple of chocolate ones, but I don't know. I'm not crazy. I'm not addicted to chocolate. Like you think I would be because it's so delicious. I think chocolate bonbons are delicious, but I don't know. For some reason, I'm not addicted to them. I take them, you know, when they're there, I'll eat them. But if they're not there, I don't miss the chocolate. So. 
So they're still fattening because of the sugar, but it's zero fat, which is probably good for something. I mean, you know, they have calories. Okay, one more of these, and then my review is over unless any of you have questions. And I'm trying to see if there's a, the sour is only on the outside. I believe it is. Yeah, the sour is on the outside because of the sugar. They have the malic acid in there. But um, yeah, they're okay. They're kind of cool because they're green. So, you know, children might think, oh, wow, green chicks, you know, instead of yellow or pink. <laughs> All right. That's it then. No questions? Okay. Thanks for coming to my candy attack. See you soon. Go watch my other candy attacks. I have a whole playlist of my candy attacks if that's what your thing is. Bye. Hi, Sadie. See you. Bye. I might be on Twitch a little later tonight. I'll think about it. So on Twitch, if you want to follow me on Twitch, I don't go on there much anymore. I used to go on more, but I might go on tonight. Difficult underscore unit on Twitch. Bye.